Today we are at Deltares, the research institute, where we are doing tests in the Delta Flume. In this project we are testing uh, real-life mangrove trees at full scale. So uh, after uh, uh, loading these, these trees with real uh, storm waves up to three meters high, uh, we will know uh, what the forces on these trees are and whether they are strong enough to withstand these waves. Uh, the mangrove trees, they, they grow in a lot of coasts and the benefit of a living system is that when we get uh, sea level rise due to climate change, uh, the, the mangrove forests, they can capture sediments and they can grow with the sea level rise. So it is a um, naturally adaptive system. We have this large wave flume here, we can make these monster waves of a real uh, uh, hurricane, but we needed the mangrove trees. So we especially built here a greenhouse and for five years we've been growing uh, real mangrove trees to be placed in the flume for testing. In this greenhouse we have two types of mangroves. One of them is the Avicenia trees, which have these roots that come out of the soil. The reason why the roots are like this is because mangroves grow in places with a lot of water where the, there's little oxygen in the soil. So basically the roots are like snorkels that come out of the water and give oxygen to the tree. And we also have Rhizophora trees where the roots actually come out of the trunk and go into the soil. We need to know also how strong they are. So these trees, uh, mangrove trees, they're in coastal areas and if there's a storm, they're gonna protect you but they can also be broken by the storm. And this is the reason why we're doing all of these experiments about the strength of the vegetation. 